You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV. Well, this week we're gonna be talking about a product that's really so big that we can't really fit it on set. It is the California Sunbounce Pro Sun Swatter Kit. And so this is the Sun Swatter. It's this large thing here. It's a four by six piece of translucent material that you can put over your subject when you're shooting outside in ambient light to give you really, really soft light. Now it's so big, we can't really show it to you here in the studio. So in a second, we're gonna go out on location and show you how it works. But there's one of the, a uh, couple other things I really wanna uh, talk to you about before we do that. And uh, that is how to mount this thing. So um, normally you can mount this using a standard grip head. So this is just a normal Matthews grip head. This is a Manfrotto super clamp. So you need some kind of grip head like that to attach it either to a light stand or something like this. And this is actually the boomstick that comes from Sunswatter. And uh, this is about 300 bucks. This guy is 14 feet. And so you can really use this to uh, hold that Sunswatter out over your subject to make sure you have nice soft light and it's really heavy duty. Um, there is another version of this that's a little bit smaller, but I highly recommend that you get the uh, three riser so you really have all the room that you need. So let's go now and take a look at how the sun swatter looks outside in an actual shooting environment. Okay, the beauty of the sun bounce is that in an environment like this where we have absolutely no clouds, the light is really hard, and we're getting really unflattering shadows. I wanna take some pictures. We have a model that's gonna be here in a, in a few minutes. And I wanna make sure I get some nice soft light. And I can't do that right now because I really don't have any trees or shade to uh, shoot under. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, put this thing together and show you how it really helps out in an environment like this. So uh, let me show you first how to assemble this. I'm just gonna do it really fast. Um, this all comes in the bag. So I'll just take out, first of all, the, the translucent material. Um, and this stuff is, is really great because it um, just sort of rolls up inside there. So you can see that. All right, so I'll take that out and throw it on the ground. Then I'm gonna take all the poles out. This takes a couple seconds. Now the first time I installed this or put this together, um, I was a little bit uh, skeptical because I couldn't believe it was so simple to install it. Um, but it turns out it is just this simple. So you just take these two rods here, stick them together, just like that. And then I'll take my uh, translucent material, and this has a couple of pockets, one on each side. And so all you have to do is slide this in one of the pockets. So I'll slide this in on this side. And it's got a little gap here. I'll explain what that is in a second. So I'll just slide this through here. That's going to go all the way up. And once it's there, you have to get this, this part inside this little tab here. So to do that, they've got this little uh, yellow thing here, and you just hold it, and it sticks right on, just like that. So that's halfway done. And then I'll repeat that for the other side. So I'll just take this here and stick it in the pocket, just like that. And then once again, I need to take this little tab here, make sure it's nice and snug, and voila. Okay, now here's the tricky part if there is such a thing. You have to make sure these are facing in, which they are now. So I'll fix this really fast. Just like that, okay. Now I have this middle uh, support beam here. It's got these two little clips on it. I just take one of these guys and stick it right on here like this. Then put in a clip, just like that. And then I'll repeat that for the other side. Take this, this is gonna be a little tight, which is what it's supposed to be. Stick this pin in right here, just like that. Lock it on. Now the nice thing is, this has a strap right here, and when I pull on this strap, it's gonna actually force out the other end. So I'm gonna do that. Pull that really tight, just like that. And now I have this nice piece of material. Now the other thing that I need to do is, this is ready to, to go right now. You can see that it's uh, casting a nice shade. Um, I need to have something to hold it up with. I could do that by hand. Just hold that up here like this. Or I can get the boom stick, which we talked about. Um, and what I'll do here is take this guy and I'm just gonna mount it right on the center here. It's about like that. 
And then I have this little yellow tab here. And I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna extend it just a little bit. I like that. Stick this around. What that's gonna allow me to do here is to angle this just a bit. So this will look great. The nice thing is if you forget how to do this, there's actually a card that will show you exactly how to do it. So it's really, really nice. And so um, this is good. I'll angle it about like that. And now I'll extend this arm a little bit. I can take this and it's made to hold like this. So that little yellow piece right there actually holds this from falling down. That's what that does. And so once you have that, you can actually have an assistant hold this nice and high like this and it will really add some shade. It's really, really nice. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring out our model and her name is Sam and our assistant, which is Kelsey and we're actually gonna take a couple shots. So Kelsey, if you'll grab this really fast. Okay, I'm gonna grab my camera really quickly. All right, so Sam, come right over here and just stand right here. And the point of this is uh, what we want, um, you got this upside down here, Kelsey. Oh, there you go, good, just like that. <laughs> All right, yeah, so what Kelsey's gonna do is she's gonna put this where there's shade on Sam's face and that's gonna give us really nice soft light. And you can see that there's a big difference between the hard light that's coming directly from the sun and the nice shade that's coming right here onto Sam's face, which is really nice. So now I'm gonna just set my camera. I'm in aperture priority mode. I'm shooting at about 3.2 and look right at me. There you go. Perfect, just like that. Excellent. Well, that's the California Sunbound Sun Swatter Pro Kit. It comes with the translucent material and the frame. That's about $800 for that. And then the boomstick is about $300. And then you need some kind of grip head to mount either the stand or the boomstick to the sun swatter. So you can either use a, uh, uh, a normal magic clamp from Manfrotto or a normal grip head from Matthews or um, any other of the many brands that are out there. Now, a couple things that I really love about this, it's really easy to set up and take down. It really gives you a lot of diversity when you're shooting outside. And because it's so flexible, you can mount it to a permanent stand as well as something that's portable like this boomstick. Well, thanks for joining us this week. I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, if you have something that you'd like me to review, please just send your suggestions to askmark at adorama.com. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.